My name is Riley Stewart and I am an animation major at Drexel. When I'm not making stuff on the computer, I'm making armor and weapons in real life in order to fight people as a heavy fighter in the Society for Creative Anachronism, or SCA. About a year or two back, I met up with some friends here at Drexel who told me about the SCA, which is Society for Creative Anachronism. And what it is, it's kind of this full immersion experience in, um, in history. I've always had an interest in um, making things, creating things, and um, I've also always had an interest in history, medieval fantasy. What I do is I find the uh, type of I find the type of equipment that I want to make. In this case, I'm going for a um, early like Viking Age, pre-Viking Age warrior, and so I'm looking at the type of armor they used during that time, um, the type of weapons they used, and I'm trying to trying to rebuild from there. I went online, found the type of chest armor they're using, which is, is called Lamlar armor, and it's made out of leather, which was used during that time. I basically just found, like, did a lot of research on like everything from the shape and size of the plates, to the materials, to how it's stitched together. I've spent maybe 40 hours on this, just stitching these plates together. Um, so it's a very tedious process, it's a very long process, but it's really just a lot of research, a lot of, and you really gotta be like devoted to uh, creating it, because it's not something that you just like sit down, bang out in 10 minutes. My helmet, I didn't actually make myself, but this was bought from a actual armorer who's been in business for at least a dozen years. So it's one of those things where, especially if when fighting, your vital, your vital spots, like your head, your neck, your like hands, elbows, stuff like that, you really want to make sure there's quality protection for that. So I decided to, for the first time, go with an actual professional making these, these things instead of just try it out for myself and uh, possibly suffer brain damage. For the actual SCA combat, we used what's called rattan, which is a type of really heavy reed. Think of it like bamboo, except solid all the way through. There's also, for the thrusting tips on weapons, we have, like you can't see it because it's covered in the tape, but uh, there's uh, about an inch and a half of foam here for compression because if I were to, thr if I were to thrust at an armored opponent with this, um, without the thrusting tip, it really causes a lot of damage. In SCA fighting, there's a lot more in depth rule of combat. Um, the SCA is, you, you have to have a minimum protection of armor of, um, you have to wear a helmet of a, at least 14 gauge steel, which usually weighs anywhere from nine pounds to my helmet weighs about 12 pounds. When you actually fight an opponent, you have to hit them. It's similar to our unarmored um, fighting, where if you get hit in the limb, you lose limb. If you get hit like chest or head, you die. Um, however, you do have to strike the uh, opponent with enough force that if this were actual combat and that, and that person was actually wearing actual real armor and you were using a real sharpened steel sword, um, that you have to hit them with enough force that if that scenario were actually true, it'd be a killing blow or an actual like limb severing blow. I pretty much guarantee you, we usually walk away with bruises almost every time. I mean, that's fine. Every month there's always a bunch of events going on and like anywhere you look. There's even larger events um, one such is called Penzig. It's a two week long event where upwards of 10,000 people will go and participate. It's basically a small town for two weeks. I've always, me and my brother always used to like fight with a toy foam weapons and then like even as I was growing up I always kind of just like played around with it. Um, it didn't turn into an active thing until maybe a year and a half, two years ago. So do you ever think you'll stop fighting? No.